not going to be that good, but I'm going to read it for you, okay? So, let's start. I'm going to say it with it. You ready? Okay. Okay, look around you right now. What do you see? Strangers, familiar faces, friends, hundreds of people just like you and me. <laughs> Being here at the Betcher auction just to be part of a good deed, Betchers from 10 different nations embarrassing themselves, you laughing at us and enjoying yourselves, all for charity and animals in need. Embarrassing, isn't it? Me on stage, reading a poem out loud. You in the audience, next to lots of other friends, feeling perplexed, ashamed, or even a little bit amazed. <laughs> okay. Um, how about love? It's a it's a poem. Um, it's a poem after all. Talk to the love fountain. Everybody knows it. Who didn't make a picture yet? Still have to do it. I still have to do it. Friendship, or maybe even the feeling of love, it's all right beside you. Maybe at this very moment, go ahead and see. This poem doesn't have to be a fiction. Erasmus couple, or just all couples in general. Yes, normally we're living in two different countries, in a completely different culture and environment. But have patience. Two unique, unwavering souls that find an ending interest and love for each other in a sort of complacement. Looking at her, a soft red rose is curled in her beauty that has been complimented for, it, for his elegance. Seems to surprise him every time when she surprised him with a smart and unden undeniable intelligence. A woman that resembles a lot of strong, significant elements of character, compassion, an elegant red rose or an oasis. After you get a glance of her, there's nothing else you cannot imagine. That was it. That was 